My pick is the hit CBS sitcom Bob Hart's Abishola. It's giving us an inside look at Nigerian culture in a dramatic two-part episode. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Really, my pick is Falake Olowopoyeku. Excellent. Yeah, well done. <laughs> I'm nuts about her. She plays Abishola, a Nigerian nurse, who falls in love with her former patient. That would be Bob. At the beginning of the season, Abishola proposes to Bob, but it's not happily ever after just yet. Why? Because she is still married to a man named Teo in Nigeria. In this preview, Teo makes a surprise visit to the U.S. Rock row, take a look. <laughs> you know what kind of rental car they gave me? What? A Jeep. Oh, no. <laughs> that day in Mexico, it was the most rain I had ever seen in my life. We would have been fine if we had a car with a roof on it. Oh, and you persuaded me to wear my white dress that day. Even angry and covered in muck, you were the most beautiful woman in Acapulco. Mm. So beautiful, the hotel doorman thought I was homeless. <laughs> You're so good. Hello, Falake. It's so good to see you again. Let me tell you, when I looked at that episode, I kept thinking about that dress. Where, whose is it? I want to get that. But listen, <laughs> we're here to talk about you because I so love the show. I so love you in the show. I've told you that many times before. And this season began with Abishola proposing to Bob. So how is that going to go? Why do you think that these two are such a good match? I love the blending of the cultures in the show. Good morning, Gail. Good morning. Uh, thanks for having me. Good to see you again. Um, why do I think this uh, this couple, this match works? It's because it's rooted in love, the most important thing in the world. Uh, you see two strong people come together. Uh, they, they've been, well, Abishala in her case has been the caregiver for her family, and so has Bob. And uh, in each other, they find like a balance and uh, an appreciation for, for life, a new appreciation for life. Yeah, but then her husband shows up, rut row, number one. I think it's interesting. <laughs> we didn't know she had a, I didn't know she had a husband. And he shows up and it's very clear he's coming back to take his woman. And so I think this adds a whole nother layer of humor to this show. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it remains to be seen if he is, in fact, here to take his woman or not, or if he's going to be successful at doing so. Uh, yeah, that, that, that is the brilliance of Chuck Lorre and our writers. There's a twist here, and, um, and the show starts to take a sort of dramatic turn, which is unusual for a sitcom, which yeah. makes our show a little bit of a hybrid. But you... uh, it, it gets... Go ahead. It gets, it gets real in the next two episodes. It gets pretty emotional and pretty intense. Oh, okay. I've already seen the first two episodes. But this is the thing that I like about the show, because it's so layered. You've got uh, black Americans, black women. You have Nigerian women. You have the two cultures that combine, and there's humor there. You have Bob's wackadoodle family. There, that is rich in a lot of humor there. But I yes. like, for instance, you, there's a great line where you talk about you're riding in the car with your friend and Bob. And you say to your friend, Bob doesn't want you in the car anymore. He finds you annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and then the black friend says, you know, you could have said that a different way. That's really not nice. And you say, Nigerians, to you, it's rude. But to us, it's honesty. And it, it yeah, had me I laughing out loud. Do you think that that's true? Oh, that's very, that's <laughs> extremely accurate. You know, people have, um, when I first came to America, I had people who were offended by some of the things I'd say until they realized I was Nigerian because they had experience with other Nigerians. They're like, oh, okay, cool, she's normal. But I've had to adjust, I've had to actually adjust. There is a language barrier that exists. Nigerians can be straight to the point. It's like a fast-paced community and you don't have time to waste. There are things to be done. You just need to communicate as, as effectively as possible and move on. Uh -huh. and, um, and that doesn't mm. translate is quite polite here. And also, I find that in America, um, you, need to have, you constantly need a smile on your face and be perky and, and speak <laughs> in higher tones. It's exhausting. <laughs> yes. but like a, your, your, par your parents wanted you, they actually wanted you to be, to be a lawyer, right? Yes, my father was uh, one of the top legal minds in the country. He was a senior advocate of Nigeria. He named me after her. And, so when you, um, and when that, so when you, how did the conversation go when you said, no, I'm staying in the, in the States to, to, to pursue arts? Oh, I lied. Um, I told them I was, I, was, I was at the City College of New York studying economics, and I was going to go on to law school. But then I, was, I, I, I changed to a, a theater major, and I started teaching myself guitar, but they didn't know that until I graduated. 
Yeah. And you have a whole other side that people are discovering. You have a new song out right now. You sing. I didn't know you sing. Whoa. I, 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 yeah. I love music. Uh, music. Uh, I studied audio engineering in uh, in New York at the Institute of Or at the Institute of Audio Research, and um, I love music. Um, and I taught myself guitar. Yeah. I released my single. Melanie, we were we were listening to it. Falake, you know, when Oprah was breaking into this business, they wanted her to change her name to Susan, and she refused. Did anybody ever say to you, <laughs> you know, you ought to change your name? It's on us to get the name right, not on you. I was wondering, did anybody ever say, you should change your name? Oh, yeah, I got that. I got that a few times, but our names are very powerful in Yoruba yes. culture and in Hira culture, yes. so there was no way I was going to switch that. Well, good on you. We will get it. Thank you very much, Falake. Always good to see you. You can watch Bob Hart's Abishola Monday night at 8.30, 7.30 Central, right here on CBS.